Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Steve with Real Progressives, and today was a day that I experienced something that I've never experienced before. Um, I was with my father, and I went to Washington, D.C., where my father lives, and um, I watched him suffering, you know, immensely. Um, he couldn't cough. There was no ability to cough whatsoever. And he gurgled. And he huffed and puffed and tried to get something up, but he couldn't. And when he would get stuff up, it was thick and just disgusting. It was horrible. And, um, you know, my dad had Parkinson's disease for a long time. And, uh, you know, he was also diagnosed at Georgetown University Hospital with super, progressive supranuclear palsy, which is a terminal illness. And, uh, anyway, uh, you know, I was able to take my, uh, didn't take all my kids with me, but I was able to take my my youngest, Mr. Butters, uh, and my stepdaughter, Olivia, and Melanie, to go see him today. And my mom shaved him and made him look all <laughs> pretty so that he wasn't shocking to us. Since we're not around, we're three hours away. We don't get to see him like that every day. And um, I didn't give a shit about politics today, folks. I didn't care about it at all. And um, I didn't even know it was 9-11 till just a few minutes ago, you know? And uh, anyway, so I didn't want to go live today at all. I was going to completely shut this thing off and and just sort of let it go for a day, you know? But... uh Seeing that, you know, Hillary is sick right now and realizing that it looks like what she has is something like dysplasia, which is something that goes along with Parkinson's disease. Um, it's not pretty. It's not lethal, but it's not pretty. I'm not her doctor, but I know my father has that. And so, as much as I love Bernie Sanders, and as much as I want Jill Stein, um, as much as I despise Hillary Clinton, I wouldn't wish any kind of pain on that family like this, even as much as I despise them. Um, and I just kept thinking to myself, I really don't want to be the guy celebrating Bernie getting the... Uh, into the, you know, the nomination because of something that my father is suffering from and somebody who I hate. You know, I, I hate Hillary Clinton. It's one of the few people I really do hate and I hate her. And I don't wish this kind of pain on her even. I, I don't wish this kind of pain on anybody. And so, you know, I <laughs> leaves you in a conundrum, doesn't it? Because you want to you want a healthy president. You want somebody that can handle the job. And yet at the same time, though, you see people gleefully talking about it. And I, I don't, I don't, I can't do it. I can't do it with you guys. It's just not in me today. I can't pull it off. I, I don't want you doing it. I, I really don't. I don't want you guys gleeful and celebrating about that either. It's just as bad as her chuckling about, we came, we saw he died in Libya. Gaddafi was no great man. There's a lot of good reasons to want to see him dead if you're that kind of person. I get it. Same could be said for Hillary. But I happened to watch it firsthand today. And... My dad is end stage with what he's got. He's not, there's no, he's not coming out of it. 
That's not the way this is going to play out. That's not part of the script. But even the evil queen is a human being. And even the evil queen has a family. And I don't wish that even on her. So, just know that Real Progressives is a team of about 30 people. We are not just Steve Grumbine, although you see my face frequently here. But I want you all to know that I'm not celebrating Hillary Clinton being sick with this. I want you to know that I am not celebrating that. Um, I feel a tremendous sense of, I don't want my dad suffering, even if that sounds crazy. I don't want him suffering because I celebrate her sickness. Somehow or another, the universal karma kicks in and kills my dad. That's all I think about. So, I'm asking you all to remember what it is we're fighting for. Think about the issues that we're fighting for. <laughs> Let that be what you're celebrating. Let that be what you're fighting for. Let the issues be. This movement is bigger than Bernie, Jill, or Hillbots. And that's the point of it all. And it's about love. It's about fixing what is wrong, fixing what is broken, not celebrating someone's illness, no matter how sick and twisted they are. And, um... Don't get me wrong. I don't want her anywhere near the White House. I don't want her family anywhere near the dog catcher. Hell, if she took a trip to a war zone for whatever reason and something happened to her in the natural course of life, so be it. But I'm not going to celebrate anybody's death. That's just not the way I'm rolling. I am not celebrating their sickness. I'm not celebrating their pain or suffering, period. And uh, remember, that's why that Hillary video of her, we came, we saw he died, ha 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 ha, that's why that is so despicable. Because no matter how evil or bad, celebrating the death of someone, celebrating their illness doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. So, anyway, with that, I'm not going to stay on here any longer. I just want you all to remember to be very careful with how you approach these things. Think long and hard before you pounce in a way that you would be ashamed to talk about with your kids. I'm fighting for a revolution, one that I believe in. Hillary's sickness isn't part of that revolution. Even if it helps it, I'm not going to celebrate that part of it. You guys have a great night. Love your kids. Love your wives and husbands. Love your parents and grandparents. Make sure nobody that you love gets missed in this. You only get one crack at it, and I'm finding more and more how precious every moment is. And I hope you guys... Make all the amends you need to make. Fix all the things you need to fix. Don't think there's going to be a tomorrow because you never know. Um, my dad is on his way to the hospital right now. And I'm three hours away now that I'm back home. And I'm very worried about him. So if you guys are praying types, please say a prayer for him. And if you are not praying types, keep him in your hearts. This is Steve with Real Progressives, hoping you keep your principles first. And remember why we're fighting. Have a great night, everybody. I love you.